my life with that leaf. There you go. <coughs> Just done it on the table. <coughs> Just done it on the table. Friday. Friday. Oh, she got it in my ear hole. Oh. <laughs> She's got it all over you. <laughs> Dang it. Your beard. Is it sweet potato? I think it's mango. Or mango. Oh, 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 oh. she got my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Kill her. Let me see the camera. <laughs> she was laughing at me. Look at that. <laughs> Get it off of me now. I'll Son try to help you. Biscuit eater. <laughs> she got my glasses. It was sweet potato. <laughs> we'll have to finish it up when we go in the house. <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is it off of me? <laughs> What's not off of me? Growing up, y'all all heard it if you've had kids. You can't have nothing for kids. Yeah. Get you some monkeys. Here, she must have scratched you. Why? Or maybe that was fruit juice, I bet, yeah, too. plum in there, too. Yeah, get it off of it's me. It's pretty much gone. Where was it's it? Just a little bit of your hairline. Well, get it. I actually just washed my hair today. Yeah, it looks good now. <laughs> See if you can clean them better since she just grabbed them. So we're gonna be on here for a few minutes and then we'll also hope maybe do a Facebook live. What's you on now? TikTok. Oh. <laughs> we haven't done many TikTok lives, but I thought I'd do one first while they're eating. While they're being messy. Well, she went for my glasses. She was trying to just hold on to Kevin, and she went for my glasses and smeared it all over me. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. We we got up there. Somebody said it's the best quality vid video yet. Um, Naughty Dogs said that. <laughs> um, he got up there and done something with the Wi-Fi, but I'm sure they'll mess with it again. It's a, It's like a daily issue right now because they're out here every day. You eating sweet potato rooster? Hmm. Thank you, Sheila. <clears throat> There's Froggy eating. Maybe that helped. I know we've been having major issues trying to do YouTube lives. So I've just kind of stopped doing those until we can get that figured out or until it gets better. I don't know why, because if it works here, it should work there for that platform. Makes no sense. And I'm sorry, I don't understand, like, all this stuff on TikTok as far as people sending things or anything. So if I'm missing it, I do appreciate anything. I just don't know what any of this means. <laughs> like somebody just put a llama or a, I think it was a llama up there. Uh, Lincoln, where did Bella go? Bella is the one that just wiped the potatoes all over us. But now I don't know where she went. Jumped off the roof too and landed right there a second ago. Rooster, that's not very smart, buddy. There's, I think that's her. Amanda says they shared the live and encouraged more viewers to share. So everybody share if y'all are able to share and want to share. <clears throat> Sharing always helps on any platform. Which one is that? That's Bella. Yeah, that's Bella right there, up in the trees. With a mouth full of Kathy lady. just got the number three gifter badge. Kim says, just love your honesty. Yeah, we don't know much about this. <laughs> We're pretty, very, try to be very honest people. Facebook, I've figured out, I think, pretty for the most part, but those other ones, I'm still 
trying to figure out. And I may not ever figure out. Who knows? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Did somebody say Bella was aggressive? Because she wasn't. Bella's never been aggressive. None of, none of our monkeys have ever been aggressive. So I'm not sure what that's all about. There's Birdie. Glad you caught us, Lauren. We're going to be out here for till dark, I guess. We may not be on live the whole time. Probably won't because I like to enjoy my time out here as well some with them. Um, but w at least we'll be on here for a little while and then we may do a Facebook one afterwards. There's Lucy. There comes Lucy crashing down. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay, Brandy. Strong 911. I see what you're saying now. You're right. I did separate her in the cage, uh, but it wasn't, she wasn't being aggressive. You know how brothers and sisters pick at each other and like tap on each other's shoulder, do, do different little things to get on each other's nerves. That's all she was doing with the other ones. They weren't being aggressive at all. Um, it's just that she would pull their tail or bite their tail. But, and when I say bite their tail, I just mean play bite, but they don't have room to really play in the van that much. They just have a little bit of room to move around and get around and climb a little bit. So it just got them all stirred up and it's just safer. She, I, I actually, she has done so much better. I think since we separated her, cause y'all know she was an only monkey. So sometimes she likes her alone time. She don't like the Group setting. Yeah, the group setting sometimes. The group vibe of the tribe. <laughs> but no, as far as being aggressive, they've not, none of them been aggressive. <laughs> Snoop Dogg in the house. <laughs> Little Froggy's getting him some drink. This is an electrolyte. Yes. Kind of like, it's not Gatorade. It was like Pedialyte or something, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was made by Gatorade, I think. Yeah, something like that. They shall love it. Uh, a lot of monkeys pull hair. Uh, they do that to get, you, get your attention and to get you to play and mess with them. That's just what they like to do. Um, we don't promote anyone getting them. So that's not something we answer on any platform. Here's Bear. It's extremely hot and humid again today, but the wind is helping a little bit as far as giving a breeze anyway. It's just a hot breeze. That's Lucy climbing and being so skilled in the trees. <laughs> What'd I say? Just a hot breeze, kind of like a mule farting on you. <laughs> well, I guess he's still on a roll from last night. No, I'll shut up now. No, it's okay. They don't wander off. Hello, Mila and Jessica. No, we will not be getting another one like Bear, or that at least it's not in the plans. I never say never. I don't want to say no because, I just, like I said, I just never say never. If but we no. found one laying in the middle of the road that was about <laughs> to be run over, we would stop. We would stop save. and save him, but we're not actively looking for one like Bear, no. So the chances of that happening is none, yeah. so yeah, we'll say that. And the capuchins are not as hard in your home as, as so they're not rehomed as much. Um, they're very hard as far as being destructive, but they're not hard as far as tearing up your home by the weight of their jumping and swinging on things. The spider monkeys are good in the house. They just are getting so big that the wear and tear from them jumping and swinging on things is a lot harder on your home than a capuchin. Lucy, did you just jump? So, I think... I can't tell. I think if I'm looking at this right, does it say that there's 18,000 people on here that's kind of watching? I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to say... I can't say it. Like it says right there. See, I don't know anything about the numbers on this in the left-hand corner. But then it has something in the right hand corner too, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I can't even see nothing. There's a lot of different things on this screen versus on the other screen. On one side it says 670, on another side it says 194. Have no clue. 
That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I thought the one on the right was how many was watching right at this moment. What's the one on the left? Uh, locks. Thank you. <laughs> See, I'm clueless. I know we've got like 700 and something, um, well, 600 and something thousand followers, so I wasn't sure what which one, which was which, or what was what. There goes Bear. The camels are not dying. <laughs> That's the camels hollering. And they have all kinds of water. Yeah, they just want out right now, and we don't let them out while we're doing this. We, we have been letting them just roam the property a lot, and they want out. But we have to put everything up when we're doing the lives, just because the monkeys are enough to watch alone to keep safe. And There's monkeys and trees everywhere. That one's Lucy. She's coming down. Where's Bella and Birdie? Well, I'm down here eating. Or Rooster. Let's see. That's Bella. All right, so who's this up here? I think that's Birdie. Now, so Rooster's the one missing. Rooster! There goes Lucy. He probably went to the porch. No one Rooster. Let me see if I can see him. Rooster! Or he may be in a tree being quiet. I'm looking at the moment. <laughs> uh, hi, Lucy. Lucy Lulu in Ireland. Hi, Nikki. You might. I'm not worried about him. I know he's here somewhere. He's just hiding at the moment. I hadn't spotted him. I'll make Kevin walk around and find him. Thank you. Hint, hint. Bella, you're going to fall again, Missy. Get down from there. Get down from there. You're gonna fall and get hurt. The water ain't got no, or the pool ain't got no water in it at the moment if you fall. Kevin. Hmm. Bella, come here. Why do you wanna do that? I just don't get it. Hurry in case she goes all the way, she, and she is. I probably can't catch her with a phone in my hand. She's good now. Here, you swap with me. I just don't know what their obsession is with climbing that corner. No, she ain't now. What? <clears throat> she done it anyway. Darn her hide. <laughs> she likes keeping everybody on their toes. That's about the only thing that they do right there that worries me. And that's just because there's concrete right there. If they do fall. There he is. I see Rooster now. I knew he was probably up there. He's sitting in one of the chairs on the porch. <laughs> Drinking coffee. <laughs> Birdie's eating her sweet potato. Rooster, come down here. Rooster. That's Lucy sitting in the chair. Bella does stress me out because she did fall here the other night. She jumped just like she did and missed the limb and bounced right there on the ground. At least it wasn't on the concrete, though. It was the night that Victoria and him left. And I called her and said, she's hurt her leg. <laughs> but, because she was limping, so we were debating on whether we were going to have to take her. But she she's not limping anymore. She must have just bruised it or whatever. Strained it. Strained it, whatever. I didn't see it. Kevin did. 
You getting full, Birdie? We did enjoy the visit. She did enjoy the visit. She had a good time. She got to love on her, but then she was really happy to stay. I mean, she wasn't upset at all when she left, um, but very much so loved the time that she spent with her, giving her good lovings and hugs. And she walked her around, held her hand, and showed her is like she was trying to show her every little thing here. It was pretty sweet. Uh, w. Bent, they just don't want to leave. They know they got it made. They don't want to leave family, troop, food, security. <laughs> Take it easy there, birdie. Get just a little bit comfortable. <laughs> you comfy? There ain't nothing on the porch that he shouldn't be getting into, is it? Because he's awful fascinated. He's fascinated for no reason then. I don't understand why he's just sitting there. Food, cow food up there. Rooster. He's just sitting in that chair. Oh, you even got more relaxed. <laughs> just lay down and eat your sweet potato. Has the heat just got you exhausted? Hmm. Has it just got you exhausted? A wee sweet girl. A wee sweet girl. There's Lucy. Yeah, Birdie is definitely living her best life. Birdie is the lounger of the group. This is she's happy doing that all day, every day. Or us just holding her. I think she would just let me hold her all day. Let's see what Froggy's doing. There goes Bella. Now where's Bear? He's up above. Frog, Froggy, what you doing down here, buddy? I don't know. Maybe I don't lose y'all. What you doing down here, buddy? Huh? Come up here where we can see ya. You want us to see ya? There you go. Oh, that's awesome, uh, Butterscotch. She says the live has been shared 57 times. Thank y'all. Thank you so much. No, Mama's still here. She just leaves at 4 o'clock. Now, Mama won't be here now till not. My, my daughter's on vacation starting today, uh, and Wednesday's her day off anyways, and so that's uh, the grandson that we have that's her son and they're going to the beach for a week so the baby nor mama will be here until next thursday not this coming but next everybody's getting time off so it's just gonna be me and kevin we like it with just me and kevin here a lot anyways so we just we need the break too not that we don't love them all <laughs> sometimes it's just good to be by yourself though not always have company. If we're just being completely honest. <laughs> we're honest. Yeah, we're honest. Froggy's still laying down. Bear is right there. Lucy, are you trying to steal my glasses? Missy, look at you, hanging on by a thread. One little tiny limb on there, got you. She ran that turkey off. Hi, Amy Rock from New York. Yes, me and Kevin, it's normally just me and Kevin here, so my mom has only been here maybe... Uh, less than two months so other other than that it was just me and him and the baby and then the baby's only been with us for a year so before that it was just me our kids have uh been gone now for i don't know three or four years and so we like it when it's just me and kevin time too <laughs> it's pretty nice we don't mind being by ourselves we prefer. yeah we actually prefer it <laughs> 
again if we're being honest but we don't want the grandbaby in a daycare so that's why he's here bear comes running at me with his tongue out to get a drink <laughs> They still got food here, so they're not just, they wasn't just starving today, which they eat all day long. It's hot. Still want to eat when it's hot. There's Bella. You getting you a good drink, Bear? And Rooster? Uh, Rick, Christy, Lucy has been the expert pretty much since day one climbing in the trees like she didn't go as high and do as much as she does now but she's done more than them the whole time and the other ones are older and have never done near as much as what she does so she used to scare me because she was probably froggy's age doing crazy things up in the tree to where y'all can see froggy's not doing that Uh, I see something, but I don't know what the question was. Somebody says it's inappropriate to ask, but I don't know what the question was. Uh, we don't have any fencing. There's no fencing that can keep a monkey in. Do they climb fence the fence and get loose? So there's no, no fence unless it's totally uh, enclosed with a roof and everything that would keep a monkey in. They can climb any fence. So no, there's no, like our whole property is open. They can leave if they want to leave. Thank you, Barbara. Lucy's just chilling. Hey, little turkey. Don't go run him off. She's looking at him. Like she's fixing to jump and running off. Yep, they're going to. Yep, bear just caused a little stink. Go, Lucy. Go, Lucy. He normally don't cause problems out here. If there's ever any problems, it's bear, but he normally just does it over food. That turkey's going to mess. The turkey's wanting some food is why it's daring them. It's getting some sweet potato. Uh, any monkey can get aggressive if they're not given the proper care and time and, and love. But no, I mean, it just depends on their life and how they are. But any monkey but can become aggressive. Well, Tiffany, I'm just being honest again. <laughs> She said, don't talk about bear like that. Y'all know we love bear, but bear can be a stink and a little turd when he wants to be. It's just the capuchin thing. They just have that personality of being dominant and having everything their way. <clears throat> the spider monkeys don't ever want any part of drama, but they don't. They just want to, yeah, they don't necessarily stand up for themselves. They just want to run away from it. Because they could all take bear in a second if they wanted to, but they don't. Thank you, Beth. And the reason we've been here, like right now, it's still really, really hot down there. So y'all can see the shade's creeping down there a little bit. Um, so we'll soon, once the shade takes over the playground, we'll go down there and let them play down there. But when it's this hot, we just don't stay on the playground. And that's more for me and Kevin. They don't mind playing on it, but we don't like standing out in the hot sun. We might eventually cover that, but then again, if we cover it when in the winter, when it's cooler times, if you cover it, it's going to be colder on them. So I don't know that we'll ever cover it. We may just like do like this since they have pretty much the whole property. Just stay away from that area when it's super hot. Froggy's right here. No, Bear is always nice to us, Wendy. He's super sweet. He's a really good capuchin. 
And it's not that he's a bad capuchin by being, he's just the alpha, and there's going to be an alpha. If it wasn't him, it would be one of the others. That's in any monkey troop, there's alphas. Somebody's got to be the boss. No, I, I would say it's e pretty equal, uh, Kelly. Because they're honestly, oh, I'm speaking for our monkeys only. When I answer monkey questions, I'm only speaking for our monkeys. I don't want to speak for anybody else's monkeys. Um, because everybody's monkeys are different. But our monkeys don't give us any trouble. Um, other, like I said, the only issue we have is bear just being jealous over food or jealous when somebody comes. And y'all have seen that before. It's over before it even starts. Um, so he can be a little turd when it comes to that. But other than that, we don't have issues. No biting aggressive issues with us. No fighting or biting aggressive issues with each other. No blood, no blood anywhere as far as that stuff goes. Not to say that there wouldn't ever be. Just telling our experience thus far. Monkeys have warning signs. And we, you know, when you know they don't like something, you don't just keep, keep pushing a monkey because that's when you will get bit. You just let it go and move on and do do whatever you need to the next time you can't discipline a monkey like a child at all uh miss christine when the water has been filled up and has sat there two or three days and got warmed up they will get in not necessarily on their own we kind of get in there and then we kind of co coerce them to get in so they're just not fans of cold water our monkeys Uh, I don't tell anybody what kind of monkey to get or what's a good breed to get because we don't think it's a good idea for most people to do. You can't have a job. You can't have a life. You can't have, this is your life. And I don't, I'm not saying that sarcastically. <laughs> this is it. No more vacations. No more. Well, we can still vacation, but you got to have things to set up to, to go on a vacation. Like we, if we take a vacation we got to go in a camper and you can't go for a week or two weeks like we used to do. And anytime you want to, it's more two or three days and get back home because y'all know they need all this space. So when they're cooped up that much, even though they've got a good space in that, it's just not nowhere near enough space. Uh, Gina, his hairs are growing in, but we are watching that for sure because uh, Rooster was like that too. But his tail hair should start filling in better. He had coccidia. I'm not sure if y'all saw that. So he came and he had to I can't talk. Coccidia, so that could affect possibly his hair because um, I know with Rooster, he had Giardia when he came and that did affect his hair as well. So I'm just wondering if it might be the same type issue. Until he's completely over that, his hair, hair will go back in. And I don't think he was in the best, um, he didn't have the best experience at first. So it's just going to take him a little bit to get where he needs to be. Um, <clears throat> random dances. We don't have an Am Amazon wish list. We don't do that because we don't want anybody to feel like that's why we do any of this. We don't feel like anybody, we don't want people to feel like they need to send us anything. We done this, we chose this because we wanted to do it. We don't feel like anybody should have to pay for it but Kevin and I. If there's one thing I don't like is uh, we've never we've never been people to ask for handouts or anything like that. And I can't stand to know of people that do stuff like this and just, I, I just, we just are not those people. <laughs> I'll just say it and stop there <laughs> before I get in trouble. Name, what part? What? Random dances. <laughs> random dances. He likes your name because he does some random dances. Mm -hmm. If you've been following for a little while, he might just break out, cut loose for a minute. Uh, 
Oh, uh, learning their names, Hunter, is very simple. That's like one of the easiest. They, it doesn't take them long at all to know their names. I mean, probably just a couple days, few days is it. There's not much that we know of that they can't eat. There's things that we know of that's not great for them to eat, like a lot of food, people, uh, people food, like sugars, candies, you know, candy bars, a lot of sweets, things that people eat. Just not a lot of people food, breads and things like that. Fruits and vegetables is mostly all they eat. We do give them uh, treats here and there, like things like spaghetti, pasta they love, which it's not something that we want to give them often, but it is one of their favorites, so we give it to them. That and lasagna. Well, I think they're like Italian monkeys. They all like pizza, um, spaghetti, lasagna. They all, that's some of their favorite things. But they like meat. They like a lot of different things. They yeah, they eat elk tenderloin last night from the elk that uh, Kevin got last year. We're still eating on that. Uh... Thank you, Minnie Schnauzer. Yeah, I mean, I followed, I've, I, I just don't like, with anything in life, I just don't like things like that. So that's why we just don't post anything like that. There are still people that send gifts, but they'll even message me sometime and ask me what to send. And I'm like, I'm not telling you anything to send. If you send, it's just gonna be something you wanna send. Not because we ask for anything. We can't stress that enough. There, like I say, there's people that send, and honestly, our our worst favorite videos is which ones, Kevin? Opening the gifts. Opening the gifts. <laughs> it feels weird. Yeah, it feels weird because to us, it's just it just is weird to us. I don't know. I mean, it's very kind. It's just we've never had that. So, and and we don't want people to think that that's why we do it is to encourage more gifts because. We do that just in appreciation to those that are sending because I know they want to see us open them. I know they want to see their package and things like that. So that's why we do it. Let's see. Yes, Turbo, me. I can't read all the rest of them. Um, they do get, they're all fixed except for Froggy and it's just because he's not old enough yet. They just don't want, want to run away, Carol. Let's see. Thank you, Unicorn Horns. Let's... Can we come spend the night and have a play date? Well, what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a... Do you want to play with me and Kevin or the monkeys? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> that's a loaded question, I think. <laughs> do you wear a bra and panties? <laughs> well, I don't either. <laughs> no, we, we don't have visitors, and that's just because it's our home. We try to keep our privacy. We're having issues with that anyway, so we try to keep that as private as private can be. We had a real nice, pretty wrap on our van, and it was it was so cool. It made people happy to see it, but... It's no longer on there because we just needed more privacy. Uh, somebody has asked, how do we discipline the monkeys? I forget who it was now because I can't see, but I did see that question. Oh, there it is again. Kelly is asking, how do you discipline them and teach them right from wrong? Honestly, we just don't have any problems with it. So it's not, it's not something like we've not had anything as far as major, like with Rooster, with the pulling hair, I, recently y'all saw I got a spray bottle and we just stopped him from pulling hair because monkeys pull hair naturally. Like Froggy, he's he wants to hold my hair because how do you think he would hold on to his mama other than holding on to his mama's hair in the wild? So that's just a natural instinct for them to do that. So it's hard to discipline that. And the only reason I've had to start doing it now with Rooster is because he's gotten so much bigger and so much stronger. And if I don't, I'm not going to have any hair left. <laughs> And so the water bottle has been working great because I have lots of breakage on my hair from where uh, they just like to tug and hang on repetitively to my hair. It's not it's not hanging on it and being being mean. He's pulled my hair one or time, two times, just being annoying, like running by and just trying to get a reaction out of me. But usually it's to play or wrestle like he does with Kevin, things like that. 
uh, just a natural instinct because they love to have their hair, their hair pulled like with each other. That's how they play and wrestle. So the water bottle is one form of discipline. We've used like timeout as a form of discipline when we've had to in the past. Um, but mainly I just make them, like if they've ever done something I don't like or if I hear a noise or something, I will just make them look at me and tell them, you know, make them look me in the eye. I wait until they look at me and let them know I'm the alpha and tell them no and we're just, we're just not gonna behave that way because you cannot spank a monkey and putting them in a, in a cage too long is not gonna work either. That's, that's just torture to them and they will turn aggressive if you keep them in a cage too long. So time out would be time out in a cage for maybe like two or three seconds, not two or three seconds, a minute would be torture to them. <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a cage that has nothing in it, like no toys, no nothing, that's torture to them because y'all know they don't like to sit still and not do nothing. So that would be long enough. You don't wanna do long time out times either. But we really don't do, do that either. Really the only form of um, discipline we're doing right now is just the spray bottle. Uh, Jackie, I have just always loved monkeys. A dream of mine to be able to do this. Uh, Mama 56, you have to go to YouTube and watch that video. Um, you can't watch the video. Like I don't put the link on here because it doesn't give us credit if you don't watch from YouTube. So we don't put the link, we just put the picture up there for you to see what picture it is of the new video. And then you just go to the YouTube app and watch from there. But it is working fine. We do block spammers as much as possible, as much as we see. They're all up in the trees. Bear, where's Bear? Yeah, he's right, right up above me. He always answers me unless he's doing something he ain't supposed to. He is, which one is this right here? Bella? Bella. Bear. There's one up here. They're all playing right here in the trees. I just can't see him yet. Do you see him? Hey. Bear. Bear. Oh, I heard him. I just can't see him. Mm-hmm. That's Birdie up there. No, that's Rooster. Yeah, that's Rooster. Birdie is, hang on. Yeah, Birdie's coming down now. And then Lucy. Okay, let's stop. Let's play and bear. He's up there, he's up there. They are the best babies ever, Shelly. I would have to agree. What's he got on his mouth? <laughs> Just a, a trash. Thank you, Jemma. Uh, what type of trees are those and what age? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a bunch of different trees in here. There's cherry. There's salmon. Oak. Mm. No oaks. No oak. They're pretty old, I'd say. Yeah. Older than me and you put together. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, Charleston, how do you keep them clean? They usually do a pretty good job of keeping themselves clean. Of course, we wash their hands. We give them booty baths every day. They don't get body baths every day all over um, just because we don't want to dry out their skin. So, like, they can be nasty and sticky with something eaten, and then all of a sudden they're clean. But we do we can wash their hands. You can do all those things, and they stay clean. Uh, these monkeys, there are some monkeys that put off a smell, but ours do not, other than their diaper. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah, and that's enough. Uh, Ran 411, none of our monkeys are missing their canines. Uh, all of our monkeys, if you're talking about like Bear, Bear still doesn't have his grown-up canines. He just has his baby canines. But none of them have been pulled. None of them are missing. 
if they if they're missing like he has one on his upper that's missing it's just where his baby teeth his baby tooth has come out and the adult canine has not come in he sees bear now let me walk over here and see uh butterscotch i don't know what the question was you'll have to somebody will have to tell me i didn't see it or i may not want to know <laughs> where bear kevin sees him but i still hadn't spotted him huh this first one oh yeah he is way up there <laughs> that's why we didn't see him bear what are you doing up so high? Huh? He's kind of in the middle of the screen now. Y'all may not can see. But that's where Bear is. Oh, look at Birdie. Birdie, you want to swing? You want me to swing you big? You want me to swing you big? Oh, that's so cute. Let me swing you. Come here. I'll swing you big. You ready? <laughs> she shook her head. Is that fun? Let me swing you big. Here we go again. You ready? <laughs> That's so cute. We put that there yesterday for the grandbaby to swing, and he's loved it. But now they can swing too. Kevin's coming to push her so I can stay back and watch. Let me get this chair out of the way. He can get her higher than me because he's taller and got longer arms. The higher you go, the better, they think. <laughs> she says, nope, I'm having fun. This <laughs> That head shake is them playing. It's the cutest thing they do is when they're doing that little head shake. Is there ever a day that Kevin hasn't made you laugh? You two are so something. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, there's not been ever a day, even if I'm mad. I try harder later. But I make him laugh too. We make each other laugh. Yeah, he don't like for me to be mad at all. She says she's ready again. So that matters. If you got somebody that don't care if you're mad or not, then it's not as good. They just go on and don't care if you're mad or not. Do we have help with all the animals? No. We have help with the grandbaby. And we just done that mostly so my mom could quit her job that was so hard on her because she's 70. So we done that to get her from doing that and we're just paying her to stay here and just have an extra eye on the baby. Now the peacocks are on the house. And there's Bear again. He's come down a little lower now. Everybody else is up there in the tree fighting. I say fighting, that's playing to them. They're not fighting, they're wrestling. Go, birdie. She's got her legs in there. He had her legs in it. <laughs> but she don't want to keep her legs in it. She's trying to make it swing bigger. <laughs> she says, higher, higher. <laughs> now, that's just cute. I wish I had a video right now. <laughs> I can't take a video because I'm on here. Here we go, birdie. Hang on. Look at there. That rooster, Kevin. <laughs> Roosters chasing each other. She is just eating that up. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh she come out. <laughs> she tried to grab, grab him and she come out for a minute. Uh, I think there's a way for me to clip it. 
Susan, I, like I said, I just haven't learned yet. I think I did find that out though last time. I'll go through. I just have to go through and watch it, which is a time process. Now all the birds are coming down here with us and chickens and peacocks. Look at them <laughs> spinning. <laughs> Look at them. Lucy, don't go chasing the chickens. Look at Rooster and Bella up there in the tree. Wrestling. Hanging by a thread. Look at them. I have to go over here and film them for a minute. And Froggy's right there. They're just dangling by their tails wrestling up here. I'll just have you a seat, Lucy. Look up there. What are y'all two doing? You're on a dead limb. Wait, limb it. <laughs> Did y'all know that's a dead limb? Ain't you got no sense? Huh? Either that or they've just tore all the leaves off of it and it looks dead. It may be alive. It just may be skint from where they've pulled all the leaves off from playing right there so much. Because that is their favorite area for some reason. And they've absolutely demolished it. Look at the broke limbs behind them. Do y'all know how many times that we've absolutely got... Oh, that was rooster. No, that was rooster that came down. Um, so if they fall, you see they just fall on a branch like that. They've done that on purpose. Um, do y'all know how, how many times have you got tired of sitting out here doing this and watching them since we've had them? Never? Huh? No, this is not something you ever get tired of. It's amazing. It's amazing for us to see, much less y'all to see. And we live it every day, but it's still a thrill for us just to sit out here and watch them do this. Everybody's saying you can download the live. Cool. I'll have to figure all that out. Hi, pretty little hen. So there's Bear and Birdie and Froggy. And here's Lucy. And then Bella and Rooster's up in that tree. Oh, <laughs> Lucy. Did you knock it off? Our favorite time to sit out here, though, is in the spring and in the fall. We love it then because there's no leaves and you can really see them and it's just nicer weather to sit out here. And there goes Bella running up the tree. Now she's back up there with Rooster. Lucy's getting her drink. And Birdie still wants to swing. So has the live here, has the screen cut off any? Because I've moved around pretty much everywhere I wanted to, to where on some of the other platforms it won't let me do that. And again, it don't make any sense. Hey, you ready to swing? <laughs> you look so comfortable. You little tater tot. Here, here comes your daddy, because I can't swing you high. Plus I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna back up and bust my tail on this tree stump. Because <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing and film. <laughs> she wants to jump to you is what she's wanting to do. Tell her to jump. Like Rooster. Rooster jumps to you. I think she's wanting to jump. Go, Birdie. Jump. Oh, yeah, good girl. That's what she was wanting to do. You gonna do it again? Birdie had never done that. Rooster and Bella will jump to us, but Birdie has never done that, so she's wanting to do it at the moment. Now Bella's at the bottom. Bella's wanting to swing too. They both can do it. Oh, now everybody's coming over here. Weight limit. <laughs> Weight limit again. Even Bear's doing it. Well, poor Birdie. She says, I'll just go over here. Now Bear's look at Bear in the swing, Kevin. Swing him big. They're liking that. We may just need to take that other thing down, that other handle. We was going to untie that and just let them have the handle back whenever Sutton wasn't in here, but they may like that better. Yeah. 
<laughs> rooster wants now rooster will jump to you rooster will jump big here goes birdie she was waiting until everybody got out and ran and got back in it just like a kid waiting her turn kevin <laughs> she don't like bear being in there she wants him to get away bear's liking it though look at his little face tell him to jump see if he'll jump to you jump bear Hang on, wait till you come back. Jump, jump bear. There you go. Good job. He loves to jump. All right, now about Birdie's by herself, unless Bear gets back up there. Birdie, jump. <laughs> well, we found something Birdie likes to do. Oh, here's Stud Man. Dead man rooster. You gonna jump, rooster? It's just hotter than Hades what out here. Call him muffin. <laughs> the muffin man. The stud muffin. I just I'm not a sweater and sweat's just pouring down me. Do you have a favorite breed? I do not, because I, I mean, I love them both the same. Thankful that we have both. They don't try to run off. All right, we are going to get off of here. We really appreciate y'all all joining us. We really appreciate those who shared to help bring more people, huh? All the questions, all the participation in any way. Like I said, if I need to thank you for anything else, because I honestly don't know if you sent something or if you didn't. Like I see things, but I don't know what it means. So thank you for all of that. So if you want to, we're going to hop off here and we're going to go to Facebook. For those that have Facebook and want to continue to watch, just wait a few seconds and we'll be on there. Hopefully, it'll pick up like it's picked up here. Y'all, for those of y'all that tra change over, you can let me know. Um, but we will go there now, and hopefully, we will see y'all again soon. Thank y'all. I even forget how to turn it off here. <laughs> Look at the roosters.